Look at this audience, man. Looks like a Benetton ad. Man, this is good. This is a, a lot of different kinds of people here tonight. Good evening, folks. You all right? Yeah. Well, one Indian guy's all right, and the rest of you are okay, so that's good. Oh, that's crazy, that laugh. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be back. I was at my parents' house about, um, about a month ago, and I was watching TV with my dad, right? We were sitting in the living room watching TV, and we were, they had, like, uh, the Gay Pride Parade was on that weekend. And we're, well, whatever makes you happy. And, um, and they... Uh, and they were showing, they had like a live feed, not like a live feed, but like they were showing, they were, they were showing the parade, right? They, they were showing it on TV, right? So, or would you grow up? All right, so we're watching it, right? We're watching the parade, right? And then all of a sudden, these three gay Indian guys came on the screen, right? I don't mean came on the screen, but I mean, they, uh, they, uh, you know, they appeared, right? So, so I'm watching it, right? And these three gay Indian guys are like, Hey, we are Indian and we're gay! We represent the gay South Asian community! And my dad looks at me and he goes, That is disgusting! Do you know them? I was like, Why the hell would I know them? Because they are of the gay. And you are in the entertainment business. <laughs> then my dad started to get really irritated with them, you know, because they were just kept showing them on the screen. It didn't really bother me, you know, because it's just, you know, it's gay pride and they're just being proud and gay, right? So, so my dad started to get really irritated with them, going, this is wrong. We should not have gay Indians. Indian men should not be gay. I go, Dad, we got a population crisis over there. We could use a couple of homos in India right now, you know what I'm saying? I love it when people concern themselves with stuff that's never going to affect their life. You know what I mean? Same-sex marriages, I got bigger things to worry about than a same-sex marriage. I got to worry about an arranged marriage. You know, it's... Be out of control when they got same-sex arranged marriages. That's when it's going to be out of control. You know I mean? Indian family realizes their son's gay when he's young, you know? We must find him a nice boy. Someone from a good family and a big closet. <laughs> Arranged marriage is a big problem in my community, man. You know I mean, it's not so much a problem, it's a problem if you want it to be a problem. I mean, it's a problem for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> my parents tried that on me last year. They came up to me, they're like, my mom goes, Russell, you're getting older now. <laughs> and you're not married. What if I bring some nice girls home for you? I go, I bring nice girls home all the time. <laughs> they just leave in the morning. You know? <laughs> That's a nice girl right there. <laughs> She's like, no, no, I will pick some girls and you can choose the one you like. Like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> my mom wanted to pick my wife. I wouldn't let my mom pick my clothes. Imagine my mom walking in with this girl. I know she's a little big now. But you'll grow into her. Big deal in the Indian community if you're not married, man. I'm not married. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really big on this whole marriage thing, you know? I love women too much to get married, you know what I mean? Because if you love women and you get married, then you just love women. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet, you know? I'm scared of getting that disease, too. You know that disease when you get married? One gina? I don't, uh, I don't want to get stuck with one gina for the rest of my life, you know? I, <laughs> oh man I've been doing a lot of traveling I just came back from South Africa I was in the motherland not my motherland obviously you know what I mean it's black people's motherland you know I'm Indian we have our own motherland England you know I was uh... <laughs> the night I came back from South Africa though it was funny I was doing a show the same night I came back and I'm on stage and I go yeah I just came back from South Africa some drunk white lady in the back of the room yells out Yaman! Yeah, I said South Africa. Yaman! Yeah, Not friggin' Jamaica. She'd be better off she had that. Some people don't like to laugh at that joke, they think it's racist. 
You ever see that movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy? Yeah. yeah. Remember the first time you saw a little African brother movie? You were laughing your ass off, weren't you, huh? The first time I saw the movie, I was like, well, whoever wrote this is brilliant. I went to South Africa, that's a real language. I didn't know that, man. I'm in my elevator in the hotel. These three African guys get on board. They're having a conversation. I only hear it coming out of their mouths. <laughs> And I'm standing there like a jackass laughing at them, right? <laughs> I can't believe they really talk like that. Then I almost got into a fight with them because I was eating pop rocks and they thought I was swearing at them. <laughs> got very tense in that elevator, man. <laughs> freaked me out when I went there, too. You guys ever get a chance to go to South Africa to freak out? You know what freaked me out when I went there? There's... I got off the plane, there was Indian people. Not one or two. Millions of us. And here's the thing, Indian people have been in South Africa for like six, seven generations now. They've been in Africa longer than they've been in, white people have been in Canada. Ugh. Well, it's true, they've been there for like six, seven generations. Here's the messed up part. Indian people were taken to South Africa as slaves. Who the hell uses an Indian slave? Do I look physically ready to do hard labor? My people don't work that hard. Give us a calculator, we'll do your taxes, man. That's People don't like doing physical labor, man. Could you? We'd make shitty slaves, man. <laughs> Imagine how pissed off the first slave owner was. All right, Raj, here's what you're gonna do. Get in that field and pick that cotton. No. No. I can't do it. I can't do it. I hurt my back. Let me tell you what we'll do. Okay? Okay, you pick the cotton. And I will get the t-shirts made. And together, we can wholesale it. We don't do hard physical work like that, man. Why do you think you don't see very many Indian athletes? You think I see an Indian guy in the NFL? Okay, down, set, hike, hike! Go, run, run! Run with it! I'm waiting here, go! Faster, faster! We're winning. <laughs> Glad to see brown people in the audience, that's nice, you know. Of course you'd be here at the taping, it's free. Um, <laughs> you cheap bastards. 